I'm Brian Sorby. I'm a director of sales for the Americas for Topcon Precision Agriculture. Uh, we're at the Farm Progress Show in Decatur, Illinois. Uh, today I wanted to just cover real quickly a new product that Topcon's releasing uh, here at Farm Progress for the aftermarket. It's the Apollo uh, ECU family. So what the Apollo is, is Topcon's latest innovation when it comes to rate control and application control ECUs. Uh, it's 100% ISO compliant. As you can see, it's a rugged device. Uh, as, as customers come into the booth, I, uh, I routinely tell them that every, every company, uh, Topcon previously as well as our competition, has a tendency to put systems out with little black plastic boxes that they deploy on implements, whether it's a planter, spreader, sprayer, doesn't make any difference. Everybody's got these little black plastic boxes that really do the workload on an implement. Topcon about two years ago decided as we start to focus more and more on implement control and uh, agronomic input, we said we're going to set out and make ourselves a new ECU lineup and we, wanted it, we knew we wanted it to be ISO compliant. But more importantly, what we really wanted to do was we wanted to develop a product that was truly designed for the OEM from the ground up. So this Apollo project was a large engineering effort. There's a lot of thought that goes into this device. It's not just a little black cheap plastic box that goes up and gets hidden underneath a frame rail with a bunch of harnessing. This unit here is a, is a cast aluminum body machined. It's IP69X rated, which means that it can take direct pressure washing at a high temperature. It's uh, got a special UV resistant coating on it so that as it sits out in the baking sun doing its work, it's not, uh, the electronics aren't prematurely failing due to high temperature inside of the body itself. The units are modular, so as you have larger complicated systems such as air seeders and strip till machines where you want to add multiple product control, section control, blockage inputs, etc., you can simply add modules together to expand the system uh, really with no limitations. So the units can, st can stack together, they allow for passive cooling, they can vertically mount on the frame rail together to reduce harnessing. So everything can just basically run out of the bottom of the units. So from an OEM perspective, if you're a company that's building large complicated uh, machinery or implements, these things are built for that customer from the ground up and they install rather easily. Um, we have had this product out in test and limited release in Western Canada, specifically for air seeders. So there are large air seeders in Canada running up to eight products of simultaneous variable rate, which our X30 and our X25 consoles can handle uh, multiple variable rate maps process simultaneously. The Apollo executes all of those rate control commands on the bus. As I said before, it's 100% ISO bus compliant, not just in terms of the software loading through a virtual terminal, but it's actually ISO bus compliant to the, what we call the physical layer. So it's power management, it's harnessing strategy, everything is ISO bus compliant from the ground up. So we've proven this ECU in some of the most demanding environments, air seeders certainly being the most complicated machines on the marketplace, they're already proven, they're already out there earning a great reputation. Now we're starting to bring this ECU over to other applications, spreading, spraying, strip till is a huge opportunity for Apollo. And, uh, and also planting, hopefully very soon, maybe even 2016.